Okay, the El Camino decided to go for a swim today and it took me with it. We're trying to move it to the shop. No brakes. Trying to do it with the chain. It got loose. Loose like a goose. And we're still working on it. Well, if we'd had the camera on, if I'd had the head, head camera on coming down the hill, that would be a good video, but it didn't have it on. Well, this would be a good before and after video. Uh -huh. Well, all in all, <laughs> well, Frank said, where can you get this kind of excitement? <laughs> Sherry said she heard, heard a noise and thought it was a new house being built back here, up there in the woods. Uh, <laughs> and then looked out and saw me in the El Camino in the pond here in a little bit I'm going to get in one of the Jeeps I'm gonna make sure it's cranked and I have power steering and brakes but I'm gonna start off up there about where it broke loose and just let y'all see the the path that uh, we traveled and I said if I'd cut in here we'd have busted into there I couldn't cut in here and when I got down to the bottom of the hill I thought I could go to the right easier than I could go to the left, but I should have went to the left. But, oh well, we ended up in the pond. Okay, we're going to sort of simulate what happened with the El Camino. Like I said, it was parked there in front of that tractor. Frank wanted to get it down to the shop for his next project. So we moved the Jeeps out of the way, he hooked his tractor to it there with a chain, and pulled the El Camino, you know, moved the Jeeps, he pulled the El Camino out. And we had it hooked on with the chain. And we, <coughs> well, we thought it was secure. And let's see, somewhere about, somewhere about, right in, somewhere about right in here, slack came in the chain, it came off the trailer hitch and I'm going to put it in neutral and we're going to coast down the hill but we 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 have brakes and power steering where well, I didn't have either one of those clutch is locked up transmission I can't I can't cram it in gear clutch and transmission are locked up no brakes no emergency brakes <laughs> and uh, let me put it in neutral so here we go 
hitting the brake, trying to steer it, no power steering, trying to steer it with both hands. Coming down the hill thinking I can go to the right and make the turn. But about here it didn't work. And you can see we went right into the pond. And you've got the other video. We'll, we'll be loading it up. But that's pretty much what happened. And you've seen, you know, I've got the other video, you'll, you'll see it. We thought the, the El Camino was going to be messed up, but it <laughs> really didn't hurt it from what we can tell. Got, got it dirty, wet, and, you know, engine soaked, but I think all that will clean up. He was going to have to pull all, everything out and work on it anyway. Uh, what's up, Shop Cat? I wish I'd had my head camera on when I went down that hill and been air rating. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great video. So we just cleaned up at 95. It's drying. We're going to clean this one up now and put it back up the hill. Let's see what kind of space we've got over here on the left. I'm going to put that little stool so I can reach the roof. I've got a couple of knots on the head, a little scrape on the head. My neck is stiff. Got a sort of a kink in it. But other than that, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that'll probably wrap this one up. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. And so to finish our little story up, I'll tell y'all a story of long ago. <laughs> Frank and I have been friends since grammar school, and we have always done crazy stuff. It's a wonder we're still alive. But anyway, Frank had a nice 55 Chevrolet. I guess we were 19, 20. I don't know, but we were both married and had kids, had babies. Um, and I think his story was that um, he is, had, him and his wife had just lost a race to some kind of Dodge and b did something to his motor, motor, maybe blown the motor. Anyway, it made him mad. <laughs> and so uh, he decided he was going to get rid of it and he was mad at it. So. We literally took hammers, pickaxes, all kind of stuff, beat the windshield, beat the hood, beat the body. I mean, it was a perfect body. It was a nice car. Beat that thing up and then pushed it off in a creek. So this is sort of a reminder, reminiscent of that. That's what he said. He said, remind me of the 55 in the creek. So... Aqua Camino, Aquamino, Aguamino, whatever. But anyway, as y'all know, I'm working on all these vehicles. I need another parts Jeep, a Cherokee like this. I need one of these. I need a parts van for this. If y'all know anybody that's got a Chevrolet van sitting in the yard that they can get ready to get rid of, or a Jeep Cherokee four-wheel drive. If I uh, know anybody that's got rid of one they need to get rid of, maybe even another Cherokee, a Grand Cherokee, if it's even decent shape. I'm going to park that white one out. But anyway, I thought y'all might like that little story about the 55 in the creek. <laughs> so that'll wrap this up. I'll get these, put this put together, and yeah, I soaked my wallet. Like I say, that, that store, that uh, when you go in the water, you see these movies about uh, you can't get out, you can't get out. I couldn't get out. Um, I was, uh, water had come in up to my waist. I knew that little pond wasn't deep enough to drown in, so I wasn't worried about that. But you do wonder if people can't, why can't you open the door, why can't you get out or whatever? You can't. The doors won't open. Once it finally settled in down there, I was able to get the passenger side door open and get out. Look at little Andy dog. What are you doing, little Andy dog? Don't get too close to the shop cat. She'll teach you a lesson like she did yesterday. Look at Andy dog coming up the hill. What are you doing, little girl? What are you doing, little girl? Don't get too close to the shop cat. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up.